Daryl Gregg, the host of I Will Work For Food. We are out here today, a lovely day out here in the sunshine. We're here in three squares out here. Yeah, whoever get done cutting their first square first, get the first side dish of the big plate today. So you guys ready? Start your engines, let's go! How do you actually get in this position about being homeless, man? Uh, long story short, ended up through a divorce and yeah. got caught up with some drama I had no business doing. Let's go ahead and move to the tough folk. Should be an easy day. Hey, you yeah, man, you guys don't stand around. Just don't watch me. Well, you're, you're come on. I should have pushed you out of the way then, huh? You got that? Oh, you got yeah. buck? Come on. Yeah. yeah that, it's about time to do something. Careful with this glass because I really, I really hate for this glass to break. Every time I look up, there's more younger and younger people out here in these streets. Hey, hey, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, smoke. you got yeah, that? I got this, I got oh. this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That yeah, is funny. Well, Come on. You know, look, at look at this guy. You know what they hey. say? They say work smarter, not harder. That's, that's the thing. That Come on, man, it don't take yeah. two wheeler. You know what? <laughs> My name is Grant Bardo, and uh, through my years, uh, I've been, I come up with a pretty well-to-do family, you know, church, Christian family, and uh, I went through some of Some days I might make 20 bucks, other days I might get 150 bucks. I'm an old school. What is this, man? I would have had this myself like 20 minutes ago. Uh, at that point, I kind of lost it mentally and, you know, just found myself out there not caring about living. But I had two kids to deal with, a son and a daughter, and even at that point, I had to give them up because mentally I couldn't deal with the whole situation. I'm out here and they hungry too. You're right. Because you're not getting fed like you need to be fed and the nourishment to give you the strength to do these things. Some people are really nice, some people are pretty horrible. You know, I had a drink thrown at me about a week ago. They whipped it right at me, but they missed. So. This is Daryl Gregg, the host of I Will Work For Food. It's a lot of homeless people out there that need your help. So it's pretty hard out here. It's still hard out here to find a job. Over 1.5 million people will go homeless within the next two years, so. Howdy. Uh, my name is Earl Anthony Pierre Deleu. No one ever says it right, so don't try. The hardest part of my life was when I lived in a tree. I had nowhere to live, so I lived in this tree, and it was like God's hand. And I would catch this one limb and pull myself up into the tree, and I'd get up to this one set of branches, and it was like a big hand. It was just like the hand of God, and that's what I called it, because I could lay up in it, and once I laid back in it, I couldn't fall, because there was branches all around me and held me there. I lived there for almost, well, almost seven months. Hey, hold up. Boss man said so we gotta go to the second floor. There's more stuff up there for us. Just moved all the stuff out of the garage. There's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. He wants to be happy, so let's keep him happy. Let's go upstairs and get this done. You guys watch your step, man. It's kind of like a thing. These railings are broken, so you guys be careful when you guys come up here. So the fact you uh, complain, the fact that we're getting done. This is some bull. I didn't sign up for all this. Uh, sometimes you don't want to work for food, but sometimes you just need to have a meal. So we're giving sack lunches out today, so we're going to give Tim a sack lunch. Okay, go ahead and open your bag and see what you got in there. Oh yeah, ham sandwich. You got a ham sandwich? Yeah. Peaches, that's one of my favorites. Man. All you guys out here, he's trying to find something to eat. It's hard out here. I mean, we need your help to, you know, keep these guys fed. Uh, it's a lot of things that's going out here. They can't find work. And that's basically what we need your help for. This is Daryl Gregg, the host of Bible Work Food. 
we're gonna get this guy Cyclops in just five seconds. This place is a hard place to live. But it, it wouldn't be so hard if more people would open up their hearts and realize that everybody with a pack on his back and everybody that that that's, that's with a piece of card. I just have a backpack and a cardboard sign. That, that's pretty much what my life has gotten to. It'd be really nice to work again, but there's not a lot of options. And that, that's how I make my money, and because I'm homeless and I'm having a hard time getting a job because of my uh, criminal record. Well, usually uh, people think homelessness is just infiltrating the big cities. It's, it's kind of like nationwide. Most part of it. Got my stomach on empty. Can I know that's what to do? Get myself a cardboard. Right on it. I will work for food. Now I'm standing in the middle of the road. Collecting like a human toad. I will work for food. By railroad tracks, on the county courthouse uh, uh, steps, you know, I mean, I'd go from car to car trying to find a door that was open, and I'd climb in that car and go to sleep. This is the man's job here. This is the man's job. You can't, you can't hang, hang with the big boys. I don't know what to tell you. No, no. Now you guys gotta be careful because I, uh, if we don't have workers' comp, workers' comp here, you get hurt.